So if you're looking for a way to celebrate Father's Day this weekend, you might try Sarasota's Jungle Gardens. Fathers and grandfathers get in free with a paid admission. And some of the smartest people in the world have actually been there. Suncoast View's Linda Carson takes us on a tour in a place we call home. Jungle Gardens attracts thousands of visitors every year. We do four daily animal shows, and after almost every show, you get to touch one of the animals that was in the show. Those include birds, alligators, and snakes. Jungle Gardens is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, tourist attraction still operating in Florida. It started as a banana orchard on 15 acres, and it developed into a plan to develop this from a subtropical area to a tropical area and bring in uh, plants for a botanical park. In 1939, on New Year's Eve, it was opened officially at Sarasota Jungle Gardens. They had flamingos, whose descendants are still here today. We do have uh, 24 flamingos here on property, and we are the only place left in the state of Florida that you can actually hand feed flamingos. They had exotic birds, and like today, the birds gave shows. The most famous, a cockatoo named Frosty. He was actually hatched in Folsom Prison, which is a very famous prison for um, obvious reasons, like Johnny Cash. When he was there, he was part of the rehabilitation program where inmates actually taught him different behaviors. His most famous is um, he unicycles on a high wire. Frosty appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show and the Today Show. He's 82 and still performing. Some very famous people have visited. Einstein was here. Um, he was a resident of Lido Key just for a short while, and he visited our park. Um, and Eleanor Roosevelt also frequented our park, and she referred to it as the snake farm in her journal. Schools from all over Florida bring their students here. We've got a lot of uh, emphasis on environmentalism, and the greatest part to teach the children is how to protect the environment now so that they can learn how to protect it when they're older. Hurricane Irma hit the gardens hard, but in rebuilding, they brought in state-of-the-art enclosures. We have what they call zoo mesh. It's a very popular material, very expensive, but it's a new material. It has the uh, equivalent of like an 11 and a half gauge chain link fence that type of strength, but you can you can barely see it. You look at it right now, and in fact, not even the flies can see it, so you see them poke through the screen. And all the improvements since the hurricane makes Jungle Gardens more beautiful than ever, and the gardens is one of the things that makes the Sun Coast a great place to call home. For Sun Coast View, I'm Linda Carson.